Hi car people, welcome to Bow Vlogs. Put a glass box around her and she'll break the glass. If you try to cage her in, she'll light the match. Oh, she's like an animal, it's in her blood. She'll turn every chain into dust, into dust. Into dust Hi car people, welcome to Bow Vlogs. Did I hear that correctly? I think I heard you say you want to watch a first generation Bentley Continental GT Coupe by yours truly. Who is this Joe Vlogs? It's Bow Vlogs, okay? Let's get on with the video. You're probably wondering who this car really appeals to. Well, I say it appeals to two types of people. Number one. Move out of my way, peasant! I'm late for my golf! Number two! Time for the club today! Mm. Alright, let's go to the club. It's closed. It's closed? What do you mean it's closed? It's 11am. Oh. Do you know fit birds? No. Just go drive, can you? So guys, you're probably wondering what the Bentley Continental is all about. Well, it's luxurious. It's practical. So I can just about fit my girlfriend. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Is so everything you want in the car? Let's take it on the road. So guys, I'm going to tell you what I love about this car and what I don't like about this car. The first is performance. With a six litre W12 engine, 550 horsepower, 0 to 60 in around four seconds, this car was ahead of its time. So this specific car, I've actually mapped to 700 horsepower. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh my God. So I haven't tried it, but I'm guessing this car can go 0 to 6 in around 3 seconds. 3.2 maybe. Here on the road, it's exactly what Bentley's all about. You've got comfort, you've got style, you've got all these things which makes Bentley great. And this is why I love Bentley so much, because they make you feel so special. In terms of its styling, I mean everything's just perfect. Perfect stitching, perfect woods, varnish, oh it's just gorgeous, you know? I've had uh, classic Bentleys in the past and it's the same thing, there's so many flecks of traditional Bentley. Um, we've got a little bit of the VW and uh, you know, bits and bobs of that, sat-nav. 
it doesn't get you to A to B, it gets you to A to C. Can I just say that sat nav is totally shit? But when you're on a road, it just it just grips. It is a heavy vehicle, it's two and a half tons. Sometimes you do feel the waste around the corners, but for the majority of the time it does stick in stick into the road because it's four-wheel drive. This is, in my opinion, the best grand tour there is. You just feel that comfort. Just feel like you're on a sofa, you know, in your lounge. Ping pong. <laughs> I don't know, I, some people call it ping pong, some call it remote control, I don't know. Ping pong, ping pong. We just feel so comfortable and it's an easy car to drive, it's not difficult. But when you put it into sports gear, drop it down a gear and you just give it some. Woo! It just flies. Every time I do that, it surprises me because it's so quiet and so refined and so elegant and sophisticated. And then suddenly it just turns into an animal. Oh my god! <laughs> but you know these flapper pedals are actually quite good. I mean, the first generation, it, it is, you know, not the quickest of gearboxes, but it still does the job perfectly well. I'm just going to drop it down to second gear. So um, if you just hear that note, third gear, fourth gear, what? Just so rapid of an acceleration. It just, it just builds and builds and builds throughout all the gears. I mean, some people say that the second gear, you know, the most power, third gear. Mm, but throughout the gears up until 200 miles an hour. And for a car from the early, sorry, from 2003, 2004, that's some power. That W12 six litre engine has got some kick in it and can still outpace many modern day sports cars. So it's very impressive for a yacht. I've absolutely loved it. I've had it for two years and it has just been the best car I've ever owned. It just has all these aspects to drive in. You can plod along on a Sunday drive and it just feels effortless. So next on my list is practicality. And you're probably saying, Brody, hmm, practicality in the Bentley. I say, hmm, yes, a little bit. So in terms of practicality, we've got storage, we've got a glove box, we've got side pockets, we've got under armrest storage as well. The rear has the little compartments as well. In terms of the boot, I mean, you could happily fit two, three golf clubs, one girlfriend maybe. That's fine. No, not yet. Uh, so it's got enough to get you by. I mean, this is a grand tour after all. Fun fact! Apparently Bentley pick their cow hides with cows with no barbed wire anywhere near them so they don't catch on their hide. Little things like that, little details like that, that's what make Bentley. So back in 2003 when this first was released, the Continental GT, when I first saw it, the first thing I noticed was the windows. Now, not many cars in those days could go like this and this. And it's all the way back and gives you that 360 feel. So when you're driving this, you can see it all around you. Literally no blind spots, which is great. What I don't like about the Bentley Continental GT. Well, there's a few things, but you live with them. So first you've got the VW A to C sat nav. I mean, it's not great to be honest. And when it came out, it wasn't great. Can retrofit a new one in there, but hey. So guys, you know, with that six litre W12, engine you know it's gonna need some fuel the p word petrol i'm gonna talk about fuel economy you know you don't buy a bentley for its fuel economy okay it's that time of the day again just gonna uh... <sighs> don't actually have a watch but if i did <sighs> Arms ache a little bit, so she's my feet. <laughs> it's cold, it's cold. It's winter now, before it's summer when I arrived, so. Oh, right, I think we're done. I have to touch it to get all the petrol off it because every penny, every little drop counts, so and every penny counts. Okay, let's put that back. There you go. VW, nice and tight. Okay. I think we're done. Um, that's not full, by the way. Sixty-two pounds and forty-three pence. That's probably about half a tank. So um, I might be back this evening. So. I mean, on average, cruising around like this, you might get eighteen, maybe nineteen miles per gallon. That's a maybe, and that's a big maybe. So fuel economy, no. So keeping this car on the road. Obviously it's a Bentley, it's, it's going to be a little bit expensive than normal cars. In terms of servicing, each year there's a minor service and a major service. So a minor service is probably around the 600 mark, depends on what dealership you take it to. 
a major service is going to be around 1300 but to maintain that engine and everything else uh, it needs to be done so when i got this car i had a full service history but when it came to a service i was thinking i was going to be naughty and try and take a vw so i went to VW, i went to a vw garage and so i did and they said no they said no even though they knew how to do it they said they don't have the license to work on these cars even though they know how to it's a, a vw uh, phaeton underneath the chassis so i use a, a bentley specialist which does save a good amount of money as well and you do get a good job so oh my darling i love you so much mm. well thank you so much guys for tuning in please subscribe please like please share with the world my youtube videos we have so much content to come we've got supercars we've got supercar events we've got luxury cars everything from lamborghinis to rolls royces to i'll be comparing the new latest 2019 continental to mine and see what i like see what i don't like so time to take coco for something that i love something that i like much better than football nail salon anyway Bow vlogs out. <laughs>